will introduce uh, the band and choir directors. Celinda? Good afternoon. I'm Celinda Hall, program coordinator, but believe me, I don't make it all happen. The instructors all make it happen with the help of those students who work very, very diligently. We are happy to be able to be recording part of this live. You'll see us re, uh, performing with masks on in a socially distanced way in one of our classrooms at CTC. It's been a tough year and we have worked through the year. Um, about this time last year, we were totally shut down and the music program was one of the first programs on campus that actually jumped in teaching virtually um, through the rest of the spring semester during the summer and it's completely virtually involved. We were allowed this spring to start rehearsing choir one day a week as well as band one day a week. So it's been a great challenge for us. We've learned a lot and we're glad to be able to be here to present music with you. One of the challenges has been keeping our students attending and being a part of us. And so you will see that our numbers are down a little bit. So if you're out there, and you like to sing, you should join our choir. If you play an instrument, even if you haven't played for many years, you're welcome to come join our band. We always enjoy working with new people in our groups. I want to introduce you to the instructors before we begin. Dr. David Thomas is our choir director and um, teaches vocal studies as well as ear training sight singing. Mr. Chris Lipke is here and he is our percussion instructor and you will hear one of his students, Jovita Castro, as she performs on the marimba today. He is possibly in another classroom because he teaches in San Antonio as well. And so that may be why you're not seeing his face right now. Dr. Michael Stone is our new band director. Our band director that, that we had last fall resigned after the semester started and Dr. Stone was our woodwinds instructor. He teaches full time in the Waco ISD. In fact, he's in the classroom right now with one of those classes. And we are delighted that he has stepped up to direct our band. They are rehearsing on Saturdays and are having a great time. So with all of that said, I turn it over to Bruce who will introduce each one of these groups and the performers. Thank you very much, enjoy. Thank you, Celinda. All right, our first up will be our CTC choir led by Dr. David Thomas, but uh, as I call your name, uh, if you'll just wave to the camera there, uh, our choir members today are Lucas Fisher, Adriel Lindemanich, Ashley Demers, Monica Singh, and Jovita Castro. Now, some of these will be performing individuals as well as group, and they are multi-talented, and some will play instruments as well as use their vocal talents today. So, again, we've got a very talented bunch of individuals for you today. So, Dr. David Thomas, if you will, take it away with Ave Maria. We got muted again, folks. If you could unmute. 
We apologize. We have some technical difficulties. Their computer has been muting and unmuting itself all morning, and it just went back to mute. So there we go. Try it again. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what. Try it again. From the beginning. Uh, if if Matt, excuse me, if Matthew is in the room, perhaps he could watch it and switch it back when it mutes. He is not in the room. Okay. Uh, I will watch it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's go right for you. Excellent job, guys. Excellent job. And I believe, I believe, Dr. Thomas, you have one more performance for us? Yes. Didn't my Lord Deliver Daniel. All right. Didn't my Lord Deliver Daniel, the CTC Choir. Now we're muted again. There we go. Thank you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nicely done. Nicely done. We truly appreciate that great effort. And as great as you guys are as a, as a whole, now we're going to enjoy some solo performances by some of these great vocalists and instrumentalists. And let's start with Monica Singh on piano. And while she's getting in position, just again, let me commend these fine young students. Again, they're, they're strong vocally, they're strong with their instrumentation uh, and put them together. And we have a very strong program. Dr. Stone, Dr. Thomas and Celinda really do a great job of molding these students into becoming great performers. So Monica, you're up on piano. And she's muted one more, there we go. Thank you, David. That was Monica Singh on piano. Up next is Jovita Castro. Uh, she is a female tenor and she'll be performing the Daisies. And let me just commend Jovita uh, again. She is a member of the 
uh, two year all state choir in Texas as of a couple years ago. And so that just kind of tells you uh, how talented this young lady is. So, Jovita, it's all yours. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. All right, so let me quickly remind us again who the uh, company is. This. Yes, I was going to do that at the end. Our accompanist, our collaborative pianist is Donna Kennedy. She is the pianist for the choir, as well as all of these students and rehearses with them weekly and does a wonderful job. We're thankful to have Donna with us. Yeah, well, if Donna's gonna take a bow, I wanna make sure people knew exactly who she was. So thank <laughs> you, we appreciate that. And now we're in for a really treat. I've had the pleasure of seeing Ashley Dermis perform on several occasions in past midday performances. And so uh, she does a great job with the soprano voice, uh, Ashley Demers. you guys she was a strong vocalist that's a great performance Ashley thank you so much and as I mentioned several times these these talented uh, students are are both gifted vocally and through instrument and we heard Monica on piano and now we have the pleasure of hearing her alto voice once again Monica Singh Thank you. 
That was, that was an excellent job. Uh, and now, again, Jovita thrilled us with her, her voice, and now we are going to hear uh, Jovita play the marimba. So, Jovita Castro, once again. Excellent. 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 Thank you so much, Jovita. I appreciate that. Well, that concludes our individual performances. And, and now we are going to be thrilled. And Dr. Stone, I'm going to turn it over to you real quick for the jazz band performance. Is there anything that you would like to say about uh, the jazz band? Uh, yeah, this group has been uh, play playing uh, this semester. We basically... Uh, pull a bunch of stuff out of uh, what we call the real book. It's a, it's a standard book that's used for uh, jazz musicians all over the world. Um, someday I'll tell you the story about how I have something to do with that book too, but uh, it's not for public consumption right now. Anyway, uh, they're, they're going to be playing a piece called uh, Blue Bossa. It's uh, by a guy named, I believe, Henderson, Henderson is the name, John Henderson. And... Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, we just we just put it together that uh, that uh, that day about 15 minutes before the uh, the video was taken was the first time they actually saw it, and then they started playing it. That's very impressive. Yeah. And, and we're going to do this by recording. the the uh, The performance has been linked to YouTube, has been uploaded to YouTube, and so with the help of my cohort Maricelli Vargas, she's going to share her screen, and we're going to share that performance with you from YouTube. Bear with us as we go through all the technical glitches as this was just recently uploaded. And hopefully we have the correct link here to the uh, performance. Marcella, you need me to resend that link to you? No, no, one sec. Okay. Because initially we had the wrong link, the wrong performance. So now we think we've got the correct one. And so there we go. That looks like us.
Oh, that was great. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Dr. Stowe, you said you pulled that off on like a uh, very short rehearsal time, huh? That was great. Yeah, yeah, we uh, uh, we had just, uh, they, they just got the music about uh, 15 minutes before we actually did that recording. So that is an incredible job. And again, that's just a testament to how talented our performers are, our students are here. So we thank you for your work, Dr. Stone. Yeah. Dr. Thomas, again, let's congratulate the choir on a great performance. And if you want to add any words about the their performance, please jump in right now. <laughs> I they did a great job. I totally agree with that. Thank you so much. So, all right, that will conclude our first midday music break of the spring semester, and we look forward to hearing from these talented musicians again very soon. Uh, Celinda Halbauer, uh, again the director of the fine arts here. If you'd like to wrap things up with you know, your intake on the uh, on the performance today. I thought they all did a wonderful job. I can see that we are starting that rebuilding process and, and we're thrilled for that. Dr. Stone, could you could you give the names and instrumentation that, that are in the jazz band? I know you haven't been with them very long, so it's all right. If I, I'm just I couldn't see them clearly enough to tell you everybody that was there. Okay, well, I kind of remember their names, uh, first names only, really. The, one of the bass players there, Dee Dee, of course, uh, is, is playing there. Uh, uh, Richie uh, Pateau's father was, was also playing bass, and his name is Gene. Uh, James Michael uh, was uh, doing guitar. Uh, uh, G, <laughs> she was doing uh, piano. Uh, and and uh, Elizabeth Marquardt, I think, was uh, was playing one of the electric pianos. And finally, uh, interestingly enough, the drummer there is Elizabeth Marquardt's uh, son, David. And he just happened to be there, and we were so overjoyed because he plays a really good drum set. So, And saxophone is? Oh, uh, you know, that's funny. I can't, I can't recall the guy's name. <laughs> I can't. But it's not, okay, I was looking for one saxophone. And, and wasn't Jovita playing yes, as well? Jovita was playing. That's right. That's right. Jovita that's was right. playing. Yes. I saw uh, okay. yeah. the sax player's name either, but he's been with us for a number of semesters now. He does a great job as well. So again, I didn't want yes, to finish on the spot, Dr. Stone. So. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. All right. So Linda, if there are any uh, avid musicians out there or want to be musicians that want to be a part of this great organization, the Music Choir or Jazz Band, how do they get in touch with you and how do they become a part of this, this ensemble? If you can contact me, Celinda Hallbauer at ctcd.edu I would be glad to or just call the fine arts department even 254-526-1572 we can certainly get you involved great again 254-526-1572 if we have any aspiring musicians out there who would like to be a part of our ctc jazz band and choir we certainly would love to have you so again we look to uh, more performances coming up and as Things kind of get back to uh, more in classroom uh, 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 delivery. I'm, I'm sure our numbers in the band and choir will tend to grow. And so again, and with those, we'll have more performances for you. So any parting words, Linda? <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us today. Again, thank you all so much. And we will see you again soon on the next midday music break during the spring semester. Take care and thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.